I'm gonna send my fourth rate from up here in Lewisburg to join my fleet. My poor small fleet. Ships orders. And I'll uh I'll add the repulse to the fleet as well. So what are our fleet names now? We got the USS Viking, the Good Hope. Now how's that for a nice Nice name for a, a new navy and their first few ships, the, the Good Hope. The Fly? Nah. In honor of our first battle, this will be the USS Bunker Hill. It's a fourth rate. The Repulse? Yeah, I like the idea of that. The Dolphin, it's a sloop, why not? The Southampton. Alright. Still have a couple of armies surrounding us here. It looks like the British may be moving in to, to actually attack New York with this stack right here from uh, Philadelphia. It's a weird assortment of units though, they have no actual line infantry. It's all militia, terrible demi cannons. This is a weird assortment. They do have this stack up here as well, though. If they both attack us, then we could be in for a fight. And, you know, I may try to get these guys moving... <sighs> moving south. Alright, well, that's it for this turn. Let's see how the British respond to the latest set of defeats. One stack north of New York is moving north towards Quebec, and the other stack is heading south to Philadelphia. And they're burning down mines and facilities in Quebec, because they're angry. Oh, Spain is actually blockading one of the British ports. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Will help your grow. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. We have an option to upgrade our trading port here in our home territory, and that is always worth it. You get more trade routes, you get more region wealth, it improves your export capacity, improves your town wealth in the territory. All kinds of awesomeness. British have been busy burning things down in the north, I see. At the ready. I'm actually going to send this army down here to support New York. Yes, sir. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Division of Labor is finished. Our drill school is completed. So now we can recruit grenaders and rangers in the south, in Boston. Alright. So even after our trade port upgrades, we have a good bit of cash we're still setting on. Let's go ahead and upgrade New York's port as well. And then get recruiting more line infantry. We'll give Washington's army one line infantry. Seeing they're still mostly uh, Minutemen. And some Rangers too. Technology wise, uh, let's see. Wedge formation for cavalry. No, let's um, let's not do that yet. That's not as useful as socket bayonets. These guys, survivors of our battle in the north, are gonna be Sir. annoying and head towards Maine, and we're just not gonna allow that. Yeah, they're they're pretty smashed up. <laughs> and now they're gone. 
I'm going to continue sending them after the stragglers of our battles here in the north. Your humble servant. Ready for orders. Sir. Let's leave one unit of militia here in Acadia just in case. We'll chase down their injured. 12 pounder foot artillery here in the north. That is definitely a gamble that paid off going for Quebec. Uh, we've got a good stack here in Montreal that we've got to worry about. But the north is basically one turn away from being completely locked down. I'm not really worried about. Uh, Newfoundland or anything else up here. I mean, I kind of have to watch my back for a naval invasion where they suddenly just land troops, but it's not super likely. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and... Well, you know what? Seeing the Spanish have... The port blockaded for this turn. Let's go ahead and send my rake up here to burn something else down. They're... Oh man, should I try for the barracks? No, it's not. It's only 20% chance. Let's go for the observatory. Orders. Cost them some money. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Go ahead and end our turn. I don't think there's any other trade options that we have. No. Okay, we got stacks moving in. In the north again. We may just have to hold the line here for a while. Okay, yep, yeah, we got a stack making a run for Boston. <sighs> uh oh. Alright, so the port at New York is being attacked by a massive stack. I'm not even gonna bother trying to, you know, flank them. I'm just gonna go ahead and auto resolve. And they're gone. Okay. So first priority, okay, France is offering an alliance, um, they're going to pay me for it, okay, sure. Ooh, they just loaded an army onto their navy, I wonder if they're going to come assist. Oh, that would be amazing. United Provinces is requesting a territory swap, guys, just... Stop. <laughs> of course, they're going to declare war on me for not accepting the territory swap. One of those weird AI things. Like, I don't even know what's going on there. Sir. Alright, so there are some things going down here. Let's see what we have. France immediately broke the alliance because the United Provinces declared war on me and they refused to help. Uh, got all kinds of raids. Just gonna go ahead and spend some of my money here and repair what I can. Yeah, we'll go ahead and move you up there. Let me raid in New York. My trading port. I lost all that upgrade money too on my trading port. Sucks. Ready for Man, things can take a dark turn very, very quickly. 
sir. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and make my save here, because this is going to get really, really interesting. In order to continue costing the money, I'm going to keep burning down this port. Anything else? This stack in the south is really starting to worry me, though. We've got to reinforce Boston. Everybody move to Boston. We can just get one turn to build up our army. Oh gosh, we've got a stack here. Stack here. So New York is about to get attacked. So they can't help Boston. Yes, sir. And Make ready. Everyone to Boston. Everyone to Boston. Oh man, this is whew, about to get intense. I should send a couple of units. Yeah, we'll send uh, militia, a, a Minutemen, and a line of infantry to help support Boston as well. Any further orders? Oh, diplomacy. We got all kinds of annoying crap going on with diplomacy too. And provinces. Let's just stop. With the war. Okay. I gave them government by consent and they accepted the peace treaty. So now I have one less thing to worry about. I don't need to have a United Provinces army landing in my shores. I'm trying to fend off the British. Quebec. Okay, Quebec can stand on its own. I wonder if I can have Washington distract them again by attacking Montreal. Okay, you know what? If they want to play hardball, let's do it. Okay, they have decided to intercept me. Let's do this. This is going to be the battle. I guess it's the actual the first actual battle for Quebec. You know, I just kind of rolled into it, took it. Washington only has. Now, seeing they are attacking me, what I can do here is essentially force them to come to me. a good ambush point. You know what? We'll do it over here. Get our cannon set up on the hillside. Our, our uh, mortar, our howitzer set up behind it. We'll just go. Lining up our troops here. Ooh, 
Well, we may actually be able to uh, charge in and take out that cannon that actually did the ambushing. He's going to be all by himself. Go ahead and charge him. <laughs> His cannons are down in a hollow and he can't actually hit anything. Mon can though. Now where are those reinforcements going to be coming from? I swear if it's, if it's behind me I'm going to have a fit. No, it's over here. They're way back here. Yeah, guys, I see some fast forwarding. They're across the map from us. Let's keep our artillery from firing on our own charge here. wipe these guys out. Now that we know where they're coming from, we shift our line to meet. damage my cavalry can do. Not a bad start. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a bit while the British march into position. I'm going to just hold my line here. Come and get it, boys. Well, the AI is definitely making some mistakes here. There's a weird terrain glitch here. And... They're marching one unit by itself around it, and they're they're very worn out now. I'm going to try to charge them. That first volley did not do much. They're already very tired from the march, so this is going to hurt them for sure. That's hurting my provincial cavalry for sure. These grenaders are very tough melee fighters. Let's add our other horse into the mix. And that should go ahead and break the British pretty quickly. Yep, there they go. Alright, these guys are now within range of my cannon. Nope. Had all of them selected by accident. Here comes the cannon fire. The militia has broken off in an attempt to meet my horses. It's a definitely dangerous charging into small arms fire, but this is just militia. They're not going to be very effective. Even though I am charging up here, uphill here.
by harassing their lines like this as they're marching in it's really gonna affect how well they do in battle they're not gonna have as many fresh troops army is very spread out already. I'm actually going to let these guys go, let my horses rest. I don't want to end up charging into their reinforcements either. Ah, oh, they're going to turn towards me anyway. Darn it. Let's see if we can just make him run it out. Oh, the militia actually regrouped. The one that I, I just tore up right, right over here. Hmm, did not expect that. I got a whole bunch of them chasing me now. <laughs> the British are deciding to uh, turn and face my horses. You know what? I'm just gonna tire him out. Come on to my lines, boys. You're already very tired. Wear yourselves out. There's so much militia, this British army. We've got dragoons and provincial cavalry over here. Not great for charging to lines. You know what? I'm gonna hold it in reserve. I've gotten two of their militia units to try and follow me. What I'm going to do is lead them to this hill right here. Break the horse off to the side. And then charge them from three directions. guys are, are pretty low in morale because of their losses so far. Alright, it looks like they're taking the bait. Do they keep following the horse? Ah, oh, they're turning. Sorry guys. Too late. Coming at you from all sides now. Brutal. We're going to go ahead and run all of them down so that they don't regroup like these guys did. Who are shaken and very tired. Our 
cannons are just dropping shells onto them as they march up. So they're, they're tired, they're cold, their troops keep fleeing one by one, their morale is definitely hurting. Into the woods of death. These guys are marching so slowly now, they're just totally worn out. Alright, time for some more fast forwarding while they march towards my lines under artillery fire. Well, this was unexpected. They've come around the town now and they're actually marching towards my horses over here. I guess they're tired of them mopping their guys up. Left and right. Nope, now they're marching back. I'm gonna pull the dragoons now. Provincial Cavalry back here. What? Just selecting too many troops here. I'll move you guys around this way. This cavalry harassing their backside non stop. Come on, guys, come and get it. My lines are right there. Now because the, the AI is the one that initiated the attack, they have to attack me before this timer runs out. So I can just sit here and pummel them and make them come to my lines. So much militia. I'm going to fast forward a bit more and see what they're up to. Whoa. The howitzer is dropping shells right onto their, their cannons. Just totally destroyed one there. At long last, the British are finally marching towards my lines. My cannons are continuing to harass them. dropping howitzer shells on their poorly placed artillery. Although they are managing to drop some shells in there, wow. That one went right through my lines there. Mm. That's all right, though. With their lines moving forward because they're running low on time. Their artillery is now open to attack. So, howitzers. Surprise, cavalry in your back there, buddy. Ooh. 
That one hurt. again. Let's go ahead and shift our lines to meet their advance here. Ooh, right through their lines again. Are we in range for canister shot yet? As of now, we are. Some howitzer shells coming in. Boom. Surprise, minute man in the forest. This militia is trying to come back and help the. Uh, 49th Regiment of Militia over here, but they have their own problems to worry about. Like getting charged by Provincial Cavalry. <laughs> They're all trying to move back. So the battle begins. Let's go ahead and start mocking these guys up. Try to kill as many of these guys as possible so that I can easily take Montreal without too many losses. These guys decided to come on back and try to fight again. This charge may have been a bad idea for me because they are outnumbered. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. We'll turn our cannons canister shot onto these guys. We'll move our lines up as well. See, regiment of militia, minutemen, and third regiment of foot to assist our cavalry here, who are taking severe losses. Let's pull them back. Nets and charge these guys. They're broke. 
broken again. They're not shattered yet, so they might come back for one more go at it. Charge right in their back. Battle is officially won. Now that was a battle. Okay, so despite being outnumbered by a lot, uh, we had 2,205 troops, the British had 3,485, we only lost 171 men while killing 2,300. That's incredible. Um, our cavalry took a bunch of nasty hits though. <laughs> that one regiment of horse killed 910 men by itself. That's amazing. By the left, march. Now we can repair that. Um, Probably not up for another fight yet. So we're gonna hold here. Uh, hopefully, that'll make the British reconsider their plans to invade Boston. 